Well, businesses deeply impacted by the economic downturn are getting some help from their county and a big university. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live in Fort Collins tonight. Dylan, in a way, the county is paying the tuition for business owners to go back to business school. Yeah, Karen, more than $200,000 have been given here to CSU and the College of Business, where the Institution of Entrepreneurship is now offering free courses to local, local businesses right here in Larimer County. The topic is how to pivot, pivot, I should say, your business in order to adapt to the economic climate we're going through right now. It's very much community building, very much ecosystem building. The Larimer County Pivot Program, operated through the Colorado State University School of Business, is on a mission to help small businesses in Northern Colorado. Really understand how to deal with the uncertainty, how to create value, how to deal with changing market. Associate Professor Rob Mitchell is one of the professors meeting with Larimer County businesses on a weekly basis, brainstorming ways each company can bounce back amid an economic crisis. How does pivoting aspects of our business really enable us to continue as a business to create value. One of the companies making that pivot is Colorado Rapids Youth Soccer of Fort Collins, which, like many others, took a big financial hit over the summer. At one point here during the year, it was a real eye-opener as to how we could potentially serve our members. We operated around 60% of capacity at that time, and I think that was a huge eye opener for us as well. It was there are people that were uncomfortable with coming out and playing. With the Pivot program, which is free to participants, now Chris Bentley is exploring new innovative ways to continue spreading a love for soccer with children, even remotely. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that I think we can be a little bit more creative. And we felt that having a foundational understanding um, from a world class education at CSU was, especially being free, it was an amazing opportunity. Definitely the case. So far, more than 70 different companies have signed up across two different cohorts, and there are more cohorts that are going to be going on next year. So, if you would like to apply, we have that link on our website for the 2021 sessions. And the university tells us they are looking forward to doing a Spanish speaking cohort so that those businesses will also be able to thrive. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Great idea. Thank you, Dylan.